Uh, Dave, what does it mean to you to have Justin Turner infused back into your lineup? Um, I'm excited for Justin. Um, I'm excited for the team. Just know the uh, he's been chomping at the, get, at the bit to get back in there, the quality of a bat. Um, just seeing him back in there with us makes us considerably better. And uh, I don't know how many days we're going to run him out there as a DH, but I just could see in the net for the next three or four, um, I see him as a DH, and then hopefully we'll get him back uh, at third base as well soon. Major League Baseball made it official today. You guys will definitely have a postseason bubble with the National League playing in Texas. What is your opinion on that? Um, as far as the postseason bubble, um, I, I think that's great. Um, there's some details that I'm not too clear on. Um, I understand that, you know, the first wild card game, I think, series is at home, I think. Um, and then we kind of get shipped out and, and bubbled there. Uh, the family situation, I'm not sure, but I think that I, I get the idea of the bubble, though. Dave, 40 years ago, Fernando Valenzuela made his major league debut. What do you think he has meant to just the world of, of, of pitching and, and this Dodgers organization and furthermore, the, the city of Los Angeles? Man, um, Fernando, uh, um, on many levels, uh, has impacted not only um, the Mexican community, um, Major League Baseball, um, the Dodgers. Uh, he's just such a good man, and I didn't I didn't realize it's been 40 years. Um, that that's crazy, and for him to still uh, be on the broadcast on the Spanish broadcast, um, he just kind of paved the way. And we have two guys right now in our club that idolize him, uh, in Julio and, and Victor. So. You know, he kind of just said he was a trend trailblazer, trendsetter, whatever you want to call it. But just what a great Dodger. And I'm happy he was he was a Dodger, certainly. Uh, you have Will Smith moved up to the cleanup spot today. Um, what have you liked in his offensive production to warrant him um, so high in your order? Well, um, he was going to he I, I initially was going to have him in the in the five. Um, what, what I think I, I like him going forward, but today I just wanted to give Max a, uh, a day to sit back, watch a baseball game, and then be ready late if needed. Um, so, but as far as Will in the middle of the order, I just think that his at bat quality has been consistent. Um, the on base, the, the use in the whole field, he said righties better than lefties. Um, and, and I think that as you, as we look out going to finish the season and through the postseason, I just want to count on certainty on quality of the bat. Thank you. Yep. Next question from Mario Castillo. Go ahead. Dave, uh, does the playoff format, now that it's official, does that change? Does it, does it incentivize finishing in first in the National League or winning the division in any way? Maybe like playing in Dallas the entire time or Arlington? Um, I don't think it does. Um, no, it, it certainly doesn't uh, incentivize a team outside of you know, you still want to win the division. That's still a goal. But as far as the benefit, um, it's, it's non-existent. Um, as far as the playoff format, I think that in the National League, we have two days off and then we play the three-game series and then two days off and then five in a row. So I think that um, I like that in the sense of having the consecutive days kind of taps into the depth and seeing all five starters. Um, so that... I, I agree with, um, but as far as kind of your question, there's really not a whole lot of incentive, which uh, is unfortunate. And um, we talked about yesterday about, you know, you put Jock in the same bucket as uh, Max and Cody. Um, you guys are still, you know, I think third in the league in, in the majors in scoring runs. Um, but do you think you guys can go deep into October without, you know, at least a couple of those guys sort of figuring things out and reversing their struggles? No, I don't. I don't. I, I think that uh, those three guys are, are a big part of our lineup. So to have them, you know, not get on track, um, it'd be very difficult. So, uh, you know, certainly there's, they're not the only three guys on a club and we've managed to score runs and win baseball games uh, without their consistent production that they've done their entire careers. Um, so for me, it, it's still something that I'm, I'm counting on and expecting from those guys. And they're, they're grinding, they're working hard. And um, I, I know that they'll be ready to, take good, good at Bastard in this postseason. Got one time for one more. Go ahead, Ken. 
Hey, do you know uh, if the uh, quarantine aspect as far as the, the families for the players also applies to the manager and the coaches? Um, shoot, Kenny. Um, I'm still trying to get clarity. Um, we're still trying to get clarity. I do know, I've heard rumblings that the players um, can have their families but have a potential option to stay at home if they get approved by the league and the team, um, which would sort of constitute a bubble. Um, I understand. I think that staff, uh, coaches won't have their families with them in the bubble. Um, so if that's the case, I'll be very disgruntled. Um, you know, guys have not had their families with them the whole year and the sacrifice that coaches have made with the players and we consider each other family. And so I don't know, you know, to be separated because coaches can't, don't have their own union, own union. And um, there's a lot to it, Kenny, and I don't want to speak un, uh, intelligently on it, but I do know if we have the whole hotel to ourselves as the Dodgers, then I would expect the staff and their families to be in the same bubble as the players and their families. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys.